Hi there, kids. Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today we're reading The Three Little Pigs Meet Little Red Riding Hood. Ooh, that's like two of my favorite stories combining into one. Let's see what happens. Wiggle, snap, story time. There once was a family of pigs. Family meeting. We wanted to talk to you guys today because we are so happy that you are growing into big, strong pigs. And we have loved the past 32 years of raising you and having you live in our house and doing your laundry and you not paying rent. But we feel the time. You gotta move out. <gasps> Sorry, you're all grown up now. Bye. Harsh. You'll need to get jobs so you can pay for supplies to build your own houses. Well, it's gonna be hard work for you guys but we believe in you. We got this. Secret sibling cheer? One pig, two pig, three pigs a dollar. All for the family, stand up and holler. And just when the three little pigs were amping themselves up to go out and look for jobs, there was a knock on the door. Who are you? Hello, who might you be, girl covered in red? I'm Little Red. Mm, makes sense. I was wandering through these woods to get to my grandma's house. See, she's sick with the cold and I wanted to go cheer her up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm super exhausted and kind of just bored from walking around so long. So do you think I could chill with you guys for a bit? Well, we were just gonna go to downtown. We're getting jobs and moving on up. You could come with us. That sounds like an adventure. I'm sure grandma will be fine for a little while longer. <laughs> Yay! Yay! But before you go, would you like a slug shake? Um, I'm afraid to ask what that is, so no thank you. So Little Red and the three pigs went off to the town. They had fun and got to know each other. Can you guess my favorite snack? Bacon. <gasps> Just kidding, sorry. <laughs> they smelled the flowers. They ran around in circles. They basically did everything except find new jobs. This has been fun and all, guys, but we should really find somewhere that's hiring. But finding a job is so hard. <laughs> If only there was a place that we could go that helped pigs get jobs. If only it was that easy. Um, guys? Kind of like the place that helps pigs and other fairy tale characters get jobs? Yeah, let's go. So what brings you to us, the place that helps pigs and other fairy tale characters get the jobs? Isn't it kind of obvious? What kind of jobs do you have available? Oh, many things. Cupcake makers, we need builders, painters, molecular biologists. Huh? Well, we need something. Our mom and dad are gonna be super mad at us. Well, why don't you tell us what the pigs can do immediately? Yes, I have just the thing that'll bring home the bacon. What? <gasps> oh, <clears throat> no offense, just a figure of a speech. I have the perfect job for you three. There's an opening at the candy factory. Ooh. Oh. You can start today. Here, sign these papers. What do they say? Don't worry about it. The pigs will have the best jobs in town. Hmm. I hope I can taste test candy. I hope I can swim in a candy pool. I just hope we can make some money soon so we can buy building supplies. You guys are gonna do great. So the three pigs went to the first day of their job. Little Red followed along for support. They were nervous and excited. It took the pigs a little getting used to. I mean, they never worked a day in their life. They made mistakes. They were sometimes late. They sometimes said the wrong thing. Yeah, boss, I literally didn't work today. All I did was eat candy. Uh, oops. Sometimes they ate way too many pieces of candy and got belly aches. But after a while, they saved up enough money to build their own houses. So Little Red went with the first pig to the store. So what do you think you need to build a strong house? Hmm, I want something quick because I'd rather be doing anything else besides building. How about this? No way, one drop of rain and the paper will disintegrate. Marshmallows? No. Slime? No. Okay, fine, straw it is. Oh, I don't think straw is gonna be super strong. Too bad, I'm bored, let's go. Ugh, Hamon, I don't know about this. Oh, did I tell you his name is Hamon? So Little Red helped Hamon build his house of straw. It looked okay, but Little Red knew it probably wasn't a very strong house. Wow! You did it! It looks nice. Well, let's see how this goes. I am so tired, I need a nap. While Hamon napped, Little Red called her grandma to check on how she was feeling. 
Hey, Grandma. Sup, girl? How you feeling? Oh, Red, I am so happy to hear your voice. I hope you don't mind, but I might be a little late because I'm helping some friends. Of course. You are such a good friend. You rest and drink some tea, Grandma, and I'll be there soon. Love you. Bye. Suddenly, there was a loud noise coming from outside. It sounded like an engine of some sort. Little Red ran to the window to see what was happening. Oh, little pig! Little pig! It's that interviewer guy. He really looks familiar. The sound of the leaf blower woke Hamon up from his slumber. What? What's happening? Where am I? Is this my house? Yeah, dude. This is your house that you built. Remember? But that guy from the place that helps pigs and other fairy tale characters get jobs is outside. He looks a little mad. We're a little excited. I'm not really sure. Little pig, let me in, let me in. I don't want to let him in. I have morning breath and this place is a mess. Sorry, you can't come in. Yeah, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Like seriously, this thing is hairy. I need to shave before I see anyone. It's like one little hair. Whatever. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. That escalated quickly. Why would he do that? My house! I worked so moderately hard on that. What are we gonna do? And where did that guy go? But the wolf was nowhere to be found. Come on, let's go to my brother's house. We can crash with him. I just knew building a house of straw was a bad idea. And maybe he shouldn't have eaten so much candy too. I hope the other pigs were a little smarter. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye. Are you ready for more fun? Time for games. Let's play Count It. We'll re-watch a scene from the story and see how many times you can count Finn. Are you ready to count it? Here we go. Oh, little pig, little pig. It's that interviewer guy. He really looks familiar. The sound of the leaf blower woke Hamon up from his slumber. What? What's happening? Where am I? Is this my house? Yeah, dude, this is your house that you built. Remember? But that guy from the place that helps pigs and other fairy tale characters get jobs is outside. He looks a little mad. We're a little excited. I'm not really sure. Little pig, let me in, let me in. I don't want to let him in. I have morning breath and this place is a mess. Okay, how many did you count? Let's see the answers. There's one. There's two. And finally, there's three. That was so fun. Did you find them all? Okay, are you ready to play Find It? Here's what you need to look for. Nikki, Grace Kale, Ray's Magic Eraser. And how about Drew's Penultimate? Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Now where could they be? Keep looking. They've got to be around here somewhere. Hmm, maybe over there. Or maybe over here. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. This is pretty tricky. Time is almost up. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. So how did you do? Did you find everything? Here are the answers. Nikki, I see you. Grace Kale, founder. Ray's Magic Eraser. And finally, Drew's Penultimate. That's the last one. We did it. Now it's time for Spot the Difference. Ray Blank, Grace Kale, and the gang from Cruel School have totally messed up this scene from the story. Can you spot all the differences in these two pictures? Keep looking. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. Does that look right to you? Keep searching. See how many differences you can find. Five, four, three, two, one. So how many differences did you find? Let's see the answers. 
Look over here! Here's one! That's not the right color! This isn't here anymore! Over here! Did you find all of them? Wow! Good job! Today we're reading The Three Little Pigs Build Their Houses! Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. The first pig built a house of straw with Little Red Riding Hood's help. But then the big bad wolf knocked it down. Oh no, I wonder what happens to them next. Let's see. Wiggle, snap, story time. So Little Red and Hamon were running to their brother's house. Hamilton was just getting home from work. Hey dude, we have a big problem. Yeah, the creepy guy from that place blew my entire house down. How could he do that? He had a leaf blower. I don't know what his deal is, but can we crash with you? Well, I haven't actually finished building my house. Yeah, it looks like it needs a bit of work. What did you use to make it? I just found a bunch of sticks lying around in the forest. Why? What did you do with all your money? I'm not gonna tell you I spent it all on gummy bears and comic books, but let's just fix this thing, okay? So the three of them tried to finish the house of sticks. Just like straw, the sticks were not very strong, so they kept having to fix little parts of the broken house. When they were done, the house looked a little crazy. I guess you could call it rustic. Now that we have so much extra time, since we're not doing annoying things like building a house, let's have some fun! Party, party, party! The two pigs and Little Red played and danced and enjoyed themselves until they realized they were almost going to be late for work. Again. Whoa, guys, we gotta go! Hopefully your sister Porchetta gets there in time too! But what they didn't realize was that Porchetta was already at work. She had been working overtime so that she could save up lots of extra money to build a strong house. So when the others got to the candy factory, they were surprised to see her. Why are you working so hard? There's so many better things to do besides work. Well guys, it's important to do your job well. And it's good to take your time. I don't want to rush my house building. Otherwise, something bad could happen to it. Bad? Like, I don't know, maybe the house being blown down or something? What? Nothing. Nothing. All right, all right, let's just do our job so we can go home. So all the pigs and Little Red worked all day. At the end of the day, everyone was super tired and super ready to go home. Hamon and Hamilton said their goodbyes to poor Cheddar. I'm going to stay and work a little bit more. Whatever, bye. But while they were at work, the big bad wolf paid a visit to Hamilton's stick house and blew the thing down with a huge fan. And remember, the pigs in Little Red didn't realize it was the big bad wolf yet. What the, what was this dude's deal? Well, the pigs were in for quite a surprise. No, my beautiful, rustic, fragile house. I'll bet it was that guy from the place that helps pigs and other fairy tale characters get jobs. I'm telling you, that guy looked so familiar. I just get a bad feeling around him. Us, Us too. too. What are you going to do now? It's getting dark. I'm totally starving and we have nowhere to sleep. I think you know what you guys have to do. Go find a hot air balloon and fly to Antarctica and change your names forever? No, I think you should apologize for being mean to Porchetta and see if she'll let you stay at her house. Uh, I don't like apologizing. Me neither. Well, sometimes you have to do things you don't want to just because it's the right thing. Uh, you're probably right. So Little Red, Hamon, and Hamilton, with their piggy tails between their legs, went to talk to their sister. When they arrived, they were in for quite a surprise. Oh, guys, it looks like her house isn't even done yet. Uh, hello, Porchetta. We started building like weeks ago. Oh, uh -huh. what's taking so long? Hi, guys. Well, it takes time if you want to do a good job. Come on. Why don't you tell her what happened? Well, basically, the houses are gone. Kaput. Zilch. Dunzo. What happened? I don't know. I mean, you'd think straw and sticks would be... You built your houses with straw and sticks? No wonder they fell down. Well, they didn't exactly fall down. The pigs explained to Porchetta the whole story. So if you guys learned your lesson... That we should have stayed with mom and dad? No, that it's important to work hard and take your time doing things the right way. Even if it's really, really annoying? 
Yes, even if it's really annoying. Let's build this house together and keep that crazy guy out. He kind of looks like a wolf. OMG, that's it. He's the big bad wolf. I've dealt with that guy before. Well, we just need to make this house super strong. And we should set traps just in case. So they all work together and really hard to make a house out of bricks. So they set up all different kinds of traps to protect them from the wolf. They set up invisible wire. They filled buckets with glue and feathers. They spread out syrup all over the floor to make them stick and not be able to run away. Well, the whole house is basically ready. Yay, secret sibling cheer. Let's do it. One pig, two pig, three pigs a dollar. All for the family, stand up and holler. Yeah! Yay! While the pigs in Little Red were feeling really proud of themselves, Mom and Dad Pig were at home, feeling, well... Oh, 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 I miss my little piglets so much! Darling, they are 32 years old. It was time for them to move out. But there's so much more I wanted to teach them. They don't even know how to make beef bourguignon yet. That doesn't sound too necessary, but that is your favorite dish. What are we supposed to do now? I guess we could sit on these chairs and stare out the window for the rest of our lives. So yeah, you could say they weren't dealing with the separation too well, but back at the brick house, things were getting interesting. So you just take these two corners and put them together like this. Wow, that was easy. Yeah, we really could have been doing this ourselves for the past, oh, 20 years. Mom and Dad really did a lot for us. It feels good to be on our own. I love learning new things. And next, I'm going to teach you to balance a checkbook. Whoa, now you guys really are grown-up pigs. Aw, the three little pigs were so grown up. They worked together, built a brick house, and even learned how to balance a checkbook. Sounds like they weren't so little anymore. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye. Are you ready for more fun? Time for games. Let's play Count It. We'll re-watch a scene from the story and see how many times you can count Drew's penultimate. Are you ready to count it? Here we go! So when the others got to the candy factory, they were surprised to see her. Why are you working so hard? There's so many better things to do besides work. Well guys, it's important to do your job well. And it's good to take your time. I don't want to rush my house building. Otherwise, something bad could happen to it. Bad? Like, I don't know, maybe the house being blown down or something? What? Nothing. Nothing. All right, all right. Let's just do our job so we can go home. So all the pigs and Little Red worked all day. OK, how many did you count? Let's see the answers. There's one. There's two. There's three. And finally, there's four. That was so fun. Did you find them all? OK, are you ready to play Find It? Here's what you need to look for. Rena Gloom, Timmy, my Miss Booksy glasses. And how about Rena's umbrella? OK, are you ready? Here we go. Now, where could they be? Keep looking. They've got to be around here somewhere. Hmm, maybe over there. Or maybe over here. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. This is pretty tricky. Time is almost up. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. So how did you do? Did you find everything? Here are the answers. Rena Gloom, founder. Timmy, I see you. My Miss Booksy glasses. And finally, Dana's umbrella. That's the last one. We did it. Now it's time for Spot the Difference. Ray Blank, Grace Kale, and the gang from Cruel School have totally messed up this scene from the story. Can you spot all the differences in these two pictures? Keep looking. Time is halfway up. 
Keep looking. Does that look right to you? Keep searching. See how many differences you can find. Five, four, three, two, one. So how many differences did you find? Let's see the answers. Look over here. Here's one. That's not the right color. This isn't here anymore. Over here. Did you find all of them? Wow, good job. Today we're reading The Three Little Pigs Battle the Big Bad Wolf. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs and their friend, Little Red Riding Hood. They built an awesome brick house, but there was a big bad wolf on the loose. Will they catch him and save the day? Let's see what happens. Wiggle, snap, story time. The pigs in Little Red were doing lots of grown-up things. Only problem was, they hadn't faced the wolf yet. Was he going to come and try and blow the brick house down? That wolf may come back soon. Well, all our traps are ready. So let's just wait. Little Red and the pigs waited. And waited. And waited. But they were abruptly awoken by the sound of their doorbell. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not, Not by, by the hairs of our chin chin chins. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... Okay, you can come in. Sheesh, finally. Whoa! Sounds like the first thing worked. Pigs, where are you? We're in here. Come find us. A big bucket of glue dumped on him from above. Then Hamon tossed a bag of feathers on top of the glue. He kind of looks like a chicken. We don't know why you've been so mean to us and destroyed our houses, but you're not getting this one too. Yeah. He started to run towards the pigs, but got stuck on the syrup on the floor trap. What in the world? Ha ha. Gotcha. Now you're gonna tell us what you've been up to, or else. Me? Yeah, you. We want to know why you're here. Yeah, why did you blow down my house of straw? And why did you blow down my house of sticks? And will you reimburse me for the four dollars it took to make it? Hello, I need the cash. And honestly, you've really scared me. I have a fear of leaf blowers. And I have a fear of little pieces of wood. Um, aren't sticks basically little pieces of wood? And you built your house out of them? Maybe. Whatever, Little Red. And I'm afraid we are never going to get to the bottom of this if you two goofballs don't hush and let the wolf answer our questions. Right. Okay, Mr. Uh, wolf Guy. My friends call me Fred. Whatever. You destroyed my friends' houses, and you scared us, and you even came back to destroy this house. What gives? Well, uh... Tell us. The truth is, it was all an accident. What? Remember those papers I had you sign when you got the job? Yeah? Well, they're actually the deeds to your unbuilt houses. How dare you! What are deeds again? Well, basically, I had them sign over the houses to me, so that I own them. You lied to us! Sort of. Why did you come back here then? Well, I was planning my next heist when I got a special visit from the fairy godmother. Do da do da do. Oh, big bad wolf! Ah, what? Who? What are you? Um, you don't know me. I'm pretty famous. You look a little like my grandma, but with wings. Well, I'll have you know, I am the fairy godmother. Okay. Ah ah ah! We need to talk. But I don't like talking to old people. Pardon me. So rude. And I am only 3,856 years young anyway. You're right. I'm sorry. Old people are lovely. I'm just a little bit on edge. Well, you should be. Because I know you have been up to no good. Excuse me? I have only been tricking a bunch of innocent and a little bit dense pigs into signing their entire life savings and their houses over to me. What's so bad about that? Um... Are you kidding? You know, now that I say it out loud, it does sound uh, pretty bad. So, Wolf, deep down, you know it's not kind of trick people. But they are not people. They are pigs. You know what I mean. And it's important to not be selfish. And you should think of others. I know, I know. You need to make it right. Go apologize and fix it. So, that's basically what happened with the fairy godmother. Whoa. 
And that's why I came to each of your houses to apologize and give you new papers to sign. You promise these are the right papers? That you aren't tricking us again? Yes, of course. These papers will fix everything. One question, though. Why were you always talking about huffing and puffing and... Oh, simple. I have the worst asthma. I'm pretty much always huffing and puffing. And why did you blow our houses down with fans and leaf blowers? I was bringing those to you as a housewarming gift. But I'm not so good with machines, so I lost control. So you blew the houses down by accident? Pretty much. Well, I guess we should also apologize to you, because I think our traps were a little bit mean. Yeah, they didn't make me feel too good. But it does taste good. We are sorry. We just needed to defend ourselves against home invaders. I get it. Well, it sounds like everything is all worked out. I think there's only one thing left to do. What? what? Have a dance party! Yay! Yay! So the new friends danced and danced and danced. Porchetta was actually a really good dancer. Check this out. Little Red, on the other hand, was pretty silly. After all was said and done, they had a great time together. But Little Red realized something. My grandma. Little Red hadn't exactly forgotten about visiting her grandma. After all, she had kept checking on her and knew she was feeling better, but still. Well, I have to get there fast. Anyone have an electric scooter? Those things are awesome. Actually, I can call in a favor. I know a guy. Ooh, sounds interesting. Look out below. Cool. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye, Red. Well, I think it's time for cupcakes. Yay! And that's the end. The three little pigs became friends with the big bad wolf, and everybody celebrated with cupcakes. What a happy ending. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye. Are you ready for more fun? Time for games. Let's play Count It. We'll re-watch a scene from the story and see how many times you can count. Itsy bitsy. Are you ready to count it? Here we go. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not, Not by, by the hairs of our chin chin chins. Well, then I'll hop and I'll pop and I'll... Okay, you can come in. Sheesh, finally. Whoa! Sounds like the first thing worked. Pigs, where are you? We're in here. Come find us. A big bucket of glue dumped on him from above. Okay, how many did you count? Let's see the answers. There's one. There's two. There's three. And finally, there's four. That was so fun. Did you find them all? Okay, are you ready to play Find It? Here's what you need to look for. Drew, Crafty Carol, Humpty Dumpty, and how about Minus Booksy Book? Okay, are you ready? Here we go! Now where could they be? Keep looking. They've got to be around here somewhere. Hmm, maybe over there. Or maybe over here. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. This is pretty tricky. Time is almost up. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. So how did you do? Did you find everything? Here are the answers. Drew, found him. Crafty Carol, I see you. Humpty Dumpty. And finally, my nice booksy book. That's the last one. We did it. Now it's time for Spot the Difference. Ray Blank, Grace Kale, and the gang from Cruel School have totally messed up this scene from the story. Can you spot all the differences in these two pictures? Keep looking. Time is halfway up. Keep looking. Does that look right to you? Keep searching. See how many differences you can find. Five, four, three, two, one. 
So how many differences did you find? Let's see the answers. Look over here. Here's one. That's not the right color. This isn't here anymore. Over here. Did you find all of them? Wow, good job. Come back to Cool School for more stories and games with me, Miss Booksy. Bye.